Not taking care of your teeth can affect your overall health. What's it gonna take for me to go back and see my dentist? One of the latest trends can harm your teeth permanently. And we wanna warn you, this video may make you cringe. Your teeth are some of the most valuable things you have. And not just because they're the only part of your face that it's okay to put jewelry on and make jewelry with. My new prized possession, my necklace of teeth that I had yanked from my face. They're valuable because their appearance can affect every part of your life. And getting them to look how you think they're supposed to can break the bank. Well, people skip annual dental visits more than any other area of healthcare. And that's because dental care is one of the most common exclusions from healthcare plans. Everyone around the world has their own opinions of a nice smile, but just like Republicans like their senators, Americans prefer their teeth to be straight and white. Even the farmer in the most American painting of all, American Gothic, a piece known world over for good times and smiles, is based on the artist dentist. Given Americans' obsession with teeth, it's ironic that even taking care of them is far from affordable. By the hundreds, people stood patiently in line in the freezing rain to see a dentist. For the most part, they were low wage earners with no insurance and a mouthful of problems. One in three American adults has no dental insurance at all. The most common way to get private dental coverage is through an employer, but studies show that missing teeth or tooth decay are correlated with a lower chance of being employed. It's the oral equivalent of needing job experience in order to get job experience. Even some countries with universal health care don't have it all figured out. In the UK, the National Health Service is supposed to cover everyone's teeth, but it often requires out-of-pocket costs, involves long wait times, and still leaves millions of people without access to care. Even with private insurance, a root canal can easily set you back a few grand. Same with a fake replacement tooth. And braces usually cost somewhere between $3,000 and $6,000. Or twice that if you have to get them again because you refuse to wear your retainer. Sorry, Mom. The high cost of oral care in many places has led to the rise of dental tourism, which sounds like an incredibly niche resort, but is actually much, much less fun. It's where people travel to places where care is cheaper than it is at home. Los Algodones, Mexico, better known as Molar City, is the self-proclaimed dental capital of the world. Brian Curry and his wife Teresa traveled more than a thousand miles to save $35,000 on dental implants. Dentists in Qatar offer prospective international patients a Hollywood smile. And in some parts of Hungary, dentists report more than half of their income coming from patients who traveled from Austria, Germany, and Switzerland. Which I'm sure is exactly the use of open borders that the founders of the European Union had in mind. Maybe people wouldn't have to get on a plane to fix their teeth if dental insurance wasn't, for some inexplicable reasons, sold separately from regular medical insurance. A distinction that comes from dentistry's history as a specialty service, once practiced by non-medical professionals, like barbers. Because in the 1800s, all you needed was a painted sign and a twirly mustache, and you could be anything you wanted. These days, industry experts generally explain excluding dental insurance with the fact that unlike, say, a heart attack, dental problems won't immediately kill you. And not to contradict insurance companies who've proven themselves to be passionate about making decisions based in medical need instead of money, but dental health issues can get pretty serious. In 2007, a Maryland 12-year-old named Diamante Driver died after bacteria from a tooth infection traveled to his brain. He could have been saved with an $80 tooth extraction. And in Australia, the government said that between 2017 and 2018, there were about 72,000 dental-related hospitalizations that could have been prevented with earlier treatment. And to make things even more complicated, the line between dental treatment that's cosmetic or medically necessary isn't always so clear. In extreme cases, even something that seems superficial, like a crooked tooth or jaws, can lead to a number of serious dental problems, including pain, tooth decay, and even limiting one's ability to eat, drink, and speak. Luckily, crooked teeth don't always cause medical issues, but they're often linked to a simpler and still important problem, not feeling hot. 
According to a new study conducted by one poll, 57% of Americans are afraid to show they're pearly whites because they're ashamed of their teeth. Even when someone can afford a trip to the dentist, one study found that somewhere between 13 and 24% of people around the world are afraid to go, a stereotype Hollywood hasn't done much to remedy. Is it safe? Look, I tell you, I can't think about it. Let's have sex on top of her. Let's use her like a band. <laughs> Wait, I'm not, no! Uh, shut up, open wide, here I come! Most dental professionals are far from their pain-loving stereotypes, but of course, there are always outliers. An unnerving video. Dentist Seth Lucart extracting a patient's tooth while riding a hoverboard. One insurance industry fraud watchdog said that dental scams cost U.S. consumers more than $12 billion every year. Dentistry is often less regulated than other kinds of medicine, and odds are your dentist isn't ripping you off. But it's still sadly too common to see dentists pressure patients into unnecessary procedures, use deceptive billing practices, or employ aggressive upselling tactics that make them seem more like used car salesmen with mouth drills. But hey, maybe it won't always be this way. Forward-thinking entrepreneurs are trying to disrupt the dental industry. Some startups offer teledentistry service, sending at-home impression kits to get clear aligners for less than half the cost of regular braces. Although, some customers said these led to worse problems like migraines and broken teeth. Other startups are trying to lure you back into the dentist office by making them hipper, offering patients Bose headphones, flavored tooth polish, and the choice to watch Netflix on the ceiling. As if making us wear sunglasses during visits wasn't cool enough. Of course, if you really want to change your teeth without seeing a dentist, you could always get a grill. I don't know why I got these. Or you could do what some desperate people did when they were unable to see a dentist during the quarantine and took matters into their own hands. I started off with a pair of tweezers trying to move the tooth in the gum to loosen it. And then I got my husband's pliers and tried to, um, to remove it myself. Before you break out the pliers or spend your life savings trying to recreate those celebrity before and after photos, it's worth considering that beauty standards vary from place to place. Young women with crooked teeth have long been considered cute in Japanese culture. On offer, custom-made attachable caps that turn ordinary teeth into something downright fang-like. In some places, a big toothy smile isn't seen as friendly at all. Devastating news for clip art creators who, for some reason, love to draw large cartoon teeth whose mouths have even more teeth. There are now signs that America's cookie cutter tooth ideal may be going out of style. Reportedly, some celebrities are trading in their glimmering alabaster grins for handcrafted, imperfect smiles that incorporate more natural tones and tooth sizes. But the price is a very unnatural $80,000, making them the distressed genes of dental care. But since the accessibility and affordability of dental care doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon, let us turn to platforms like Etsy, where people are selling loose human teeth that I'm sure were obtained through perfectly legitimate and absolutely not ghoulish means. One seller is selling a set of 50 teeth for $200, which offers a unique opportunity for us all. Because it isn't it time those pearly whites stopped costing you so much money and started making you a few bucks?